Welcome to episode one of the SharePoint Skater SharePoint instructional videos. Today's topic is binding to a SharePoint list as a web service via SharePoint Designer presented by me, Peter Brunone. Also available for download at my blog at weblogs.asp.net slash Peter Brunone. Let's dive right in. Here we have a standard SharePoint site, lovely blue background and everything. We've created a custom list called test subjects with a few of our own custom fields. We have a choice field standard text field and of course our title author is here as well and what we want to do is pull this up and render it in a page using SharePoint Designer. We'll begin by creating a new ASPX. Normally since we're on the same site collection we would go straight to the library itself excuse me the list uh, show data and begin pulling out data however we're going to take a slightly different approach today we're going to use a web service connection what this enables us to do is to connect across site collection boundaries and in fact across farm boundaries so we could theoretically connect to a list uh, on a totally different farm hosted in a different building etc so we'll connect to a web service the way we get to any of these is by going directly uh, to the root of the server underscore vti underscore bin slash lists dot asmx this is where all the web services live, and this is the lists web service. It will enable us to pull any list data we want, as long as we spell it correctly. You caught that already, didn't you? We'll fire it off. We are connected. We're going to give it a name. We'll call it test subjects after the list name. Also, we have to worry about authentication. Since this site is not anonymous, we need to use one of these two methods. We have the ability to pass in a saved username and password. However, this is saved in clear text, which presents a bit of a security risk. Uh, and really, that's a decision that your administrator will have to make. So of course, you're going to go with pass-through Windows authentication and then come back over here. There are many methods on the list's web service. The one we're going to be concerned with today is get list items. What this does is bring back every item in the specified list. So you want to be very careful not to use this on large lists. There is a better way to do this if you want to selectively filter before the web service sends the data back, and that is a subject for a follow-up episode. The only parameter we're concerned about today is list name, and as you probably have guessed, we're using the test subjects list. We can also pick a particular view if we want to sort the data or filter it in some way. Um, that, of course, is limited to the view itself. We're going to bring back all fields and all list items in the test subjects list. Let's say OK. And there we have our new data source. At this point, it's fairly simple. We say show data, come over to details. We get all of the fields that we want to bring in. There's a lot of fields. Anyway, I'll quit musing multiple item view, there you have it. You'll notice that the titles look a little strange. That's an artifact of calling it via web service. SharePoint has its own ideas about what sort of crazy formatting to send back. But obviously it's all configurable in SharePoint Designer. And that's the end of our short little lesson. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to tune in next time.